Time for our hairdresser's appointment. Do we have to piss him off? He's out. Gave him four of these. He's one of those is enough to knock me out for a millennium. Two weeks at cosmetology college for what? You want your sideburns long and short. Oh, nice play. That's you, babe. Well, that ought to last you another year, you crazy and madcap kind of guy. What are you doing in there? Shaving his legs? Come on. Vicious float. Man, we should have won. We were ahead of our time. My mom wants me to dump it. Dump it? Dump the memories? Oviedo High School, the class of distinction. I'll never pass living, not in a zillion years. You, you got any electrical tape? Speech is easy, Kristen. Not for me. Come on, you never shut up. You are a speech. Give me your book. I've had enough. Chris and I are going to study each other tonight, anatomy exam. That thing's kind of sharp. You got any wire or something? I'll look in the house. It's the dawn of disruption. We've all got one foot in the grave. And pain in our ears. Good pay, right? Where's mom? She went in there. Mom, what is it? Did you put everything on this list you wanted? Let me look, Major. Dr. White. Dr. White. That should do it till next week. <laughs> Did you hear about Betty? No. What? She got engaged in Canada. Easy. Can 
finish reviewing these charts? Yes, I just have one I want you to know. Do you know where I could find a Dr. Casanata? Why don't you try the phone book? Dr. Max, extension 456. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for coming. Now, about the patient. My sister's son. She died several years ago. The father? Dead. Died in a car crash. They both died in a car crash. Oliver survived. You can call it that. Um, we had trouble locating you. You said he's in a coma. Yes. Um, a tranquilizer gun was overloaded. Permanent? Oh, no. Can't say really much too soon. He may come out of it at any moment. Mrs. Hatt, I've known families in this situation. Send him back to the asylum. Well, it... It may not be in the patient's best interests. To be frank, their methods at Penrose, Mrs. Happ, we can care for Oliver here. But it's upwards to uh, $2,000 a day. I thought- I can't afford that. I can't afford anything. He's not mine. You're under no obligation. I mean, Oliver being your sister's son, I thought that as Oliver's only living relative, that you'd want to see that he got the best care possible. Die, sucker. Have the home care is fairly simple. No. We can arrange for outside assistance. A representative will visit at least once a month. No. You can call me at any time. You, you don't seem to understand, Dr. Costanata. There has to be another way. I travel. My work takes me out of town. He's helpless, Mrs. Happ. Something wrong? Your cousin is coming to live with us. Cousin? Radical. I knew something was up. It's not. There's something. What? When do we meet the dude? It's not a dudette, is it? No, it's a. How come you never told us we had a cousin? A blood relative, right? The real thing. Yes. Awesome. Later. <sighs> not now. It's not like I'm going to disturb him. Watch my lips. No. He's awake! <gasps> Ow! You know, right, Mom? Ow! Jeff! I'll get a bandage. Sorry. 
get it. I was just kidding. Never mind. I'll, I'll get it. Maybe I should cancel this sales trip. Mom, we can handle this. I mean, how much trouble can he be? He's tube-fed automatically. He doesn't need to be entertained. He doesn't move. Honey, you've never changed a diaper before. Mom, just trust us. We can handle this. You said this trip was important. I want that for you. Such a nice person, Libby. You really are. Thanks. I don't understand it. What? Nothing. Um, just make sure Jeff doesn't spend too much time in that room. Jeff thinks Oliver can hear him. Jeff thinks Oliver is a great big toy. <laughs> just don't let him talk to Oliver as if he's going to wake up. He's never going to wake up. Do you understand me? Okay. Sorry. Fierce. Wake up, wake up, zombie walk. Don't. I'll finish. Sleepy 
sleeping outside, are we? Why are you so snooty all of a sudden? I'll be home Sunday night. Okay, okay. You look after your sister. You be extra, extra nice to her on her birthday. Ha ha, Jeff. Okay, okay. Okay. And if she seems different, you know to call me. She is different. Mom, we got less than an hour. Love you. Call me. It's only a couple days. What can happen? Maybe when I'm in Chicago, I'll, I'll find an institution. Don't worry, Mom. We're handling Oliver. No problemo. Canada. Maybe there's a place for him in Canada. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come get me Sunday, flight 661. Okay, I'll meet you at the gate. I'm awfully sorry I'm not gonna be here for your birthday, Libby. That's okay. I really would have loved to have been here with you. I know. Thanks. Dr. Casanata's number. On the fridge, I know. <laughs> okay. Mom, how come you never told us we had a cousin? Well, when, when Aunt Ruth died, Oliver was really badly hurt. He, he needed a lot of care, and I decided he should be in an institution. And then there was a day when I just stopped visiting. I, I just had enough on my hands with you and then Jeff. But um, we just try to find the best place for him. It'll work out. Mom, I want to stop taking my medicine. Maybe we've been through this. I can feel a difference now. I, I don't need to keep taking it. But the doctor said... The doctor said that I could eventually stop taking it. The doctor said maybe, honey. Are you forgetting how horrible your seizures used to be before you started taking the medicine? And what about that little boy? Mom, don't bring that up. That's not fair. Livy, you're over 18 now. If something like that should happen again, they would put you away. Okay, forget I mentioned it. Look, I promise we will see a doctor when I get back. But until then, please, keep taking your medicine. Okay, just forget it. I'll miss my flight. Bye. I'll call. Butthole. Cough blood, jerk off. You shouldn't leave the door unlocked. Who says I did? You shouldn't drink because your medicine. Get a life. How old are you? 21. All right. Now, if you're going to hurl outside. He's too young, Bill. 
what did the old geezer say to his hot young bride? What? It's fallen and I can't get it up. <laughs> oh, so when do we get to meet Rip Van Winkle? No, no, I don't think so. Why not? Is he like hung from wires and stuff because of his coma? Another round, Barkeep. All right, my little man. Jeff. What? Come on. Great. Who invited Barbie and Ken? You look magnifico. You steal my beating heart, mon ami. Look, I got a heart on. Oh, so suave. Yeah, like an asswipe. Such <laughs> a pungent metaphor. You're a poet. Dude, at least I know my vocabulary. That was a smiley, dickhead. Ooh, what you got there? Good stuff. Bill gang. All very smooth, if I may say. A fruity blend like you. That's OK, but no hard stuff and no sex, you guys. Comedy Channel. There's gonna be two moons tonight. Screw it. Well, that's kind of the idea. Cold, crappy, canned crap. Denim? No, the pink one. That one's cute. Come on, Bill! Come on, Bill! Yeah! Woo! Listen, guys, it's kind of late. Not really. In Japan, it's late. No, it's early in Japan. I mean it. Man. Hey, sexual harassment. I have to issue a citation. I'm just being a good neighbor. Let's go, little boy. See ya. Bye. No more beer as long as you live. Who died and made you queen?
Jeff, move it! Mellow out. Where are the freaking knives? That's what you wore yesterday. What if? Did you check on Oliver? Oh, yeah. A little more practice with that pitching arm. He'll be a real killer. Smart ass. You know, it's not so bad. We survived Oliver week number one and counting. Not really. Week's not officially over until Saturday at midnight. Change your clothes. More headaches? They bad? Maybe I missed the bus. How about I come by your house tonight? Your mother's out of town, right? Kevin, Trish is my friend. Oh, forget Trish. Think Livy. This is in 1955. It's not like we're pinned, know what I mean? Don't. What? I don't know. Lighten up. You used to enjoy rejecting me. <laughs> There's finally somebody in Livy's life. I'm sure. You're saving yourself for Mr. Wright, huh? Tell me more total infatuation, but he doesn't know how you feel. Don't you have a class to go to? It's obvious. I can read it in your body language. Read this. That's just the love talking. Everything's fine. Yeah, the cat's missing on the hunt for love. Well, that's what cats do. Mm, she's fine, I guess, uh, but the headaches are back. No, you don't have to come home, Mom. We're not kids. You make it sound like we're going to be on the evening news. Uh, Oliver, uh, he went out. It was just a joke, Mom. Jeez. If he so much as smells different, I'll call you.
worried about Oliver? No, you. Don't go in his room. Why not? Just don't. Is rock candy. And you're not much smarter. Just leave me alone. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I saw them in the Richlands. They're totally cool. No, that's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, great. Bye. Hey, it's me. You want to come over? I'll help you with that speech stuff. Oh, that's okay. I forgot. How about tomorrow? Tell Bill my mom's still out of town. Okay. Yeah, call me later. Great. Bye. up too late. Says who? Cut the bull, Jeff. I heard you. You heard the hamster that runs your brain. Get oiled. Did you check on Oliver this morning like you're supposed to? Sure. Happy camp for Oliver. The same Oliver I wasn't supposed to go near last night. What? You think he could have moved? No way. I mean it. Why? You heard something? No, but I don't know. I feel like he's not really in a coma. Maybe he's not farther than the Klingon star system. Maybe you can move when you're in a coma, only like you don't know it, like sleepwalking. I don't think it works that way. You go on. I'll wait for the bus. You skip school Monday. So what if I did? So you're sitting here until the bus comes. Yes? It's Mrs. Happ, the woman who took that case from Penrose. All right, Gloria, put it through, please. Dr. Castaneda? This is Libby Happ. Family has Oliver, the coma? Yes, I know, yes. Well, it's about him, Oliver, my cousin. Well, what can I do for you, Libby? Well, this coma thing. There's no way he can be awake one minute and asleep the next. Well, what have you noticed? Nothing, but... Well, my brother Jeff has this feeling. That's all, I guess. It's like that sometimes he's just lying. He's not really in a coma. Libby, it's not unusual when we care for someone who's immobile like Oliver. To make him more human, if you understand what I'm saying. We uh, imagine a life for them. That's not it. I'm, I'm not. Never mind. Perhaps I could speak with your mother, please. She's out of town. Uh, Levy, when will your mother return? Listen, I got to go. Thanks anyway. Bye. Yes, Gloria. They got another one from Penrose. This was? McCook. 
a real bleeder. Just like the first two from the asylum, you know? Not much blood left. They all got these bruises. Robert, what are you saying? Like they were all held real hard, right to the bone, like a human pit bull. By the same person? A major possibility. Take a look. Jeff! What? I ordered pizza at Garlic Crust. I hate garlic. Tough. Want to see something too cool? You spend too much time in here. Yeah. CC. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. What do you think? Totally fresh? Weird. In a weird sort of way. You know how to take a pulse. You don't got a pulse on a coma. This breathing seems stronger. Yeah, I noticed. Oh, get rid of the light. Castanata. A great pleasure. Thank you for seeing me, Doctor, on short notice. Stam, please. I'm sorry about your staff. You have an urgent interest in a former patient. Oh, well, it's um, not necessarily urgent. You're here on a Friday night. Can you tell me, Doctor, what type of program was Oliver on here? Restraint. Isolation, of course. There was little anyone could do. His brain was too severely damaged. I'd like to review his records. As you know, Doctor, this is a private hospital. Records are confidential without the written consent of the Guardian. It's in the family's interest that I'm asking. There is some concern about administering proper care. You are not suggesting you send him home. He's with his family now. Something to drink? No, thank you. The deep incision, Doctor, the severe flattening of the skull, was that... Coffee? No, thank you. The damage to the skull from the car accident was... Car accident? No, Doctor. A flaw. A family trait, if you will. I really can't say more without consent. You say you're here in the family's interest. Ask his mother. Thank you. 
Have you seen my bracelet? No. Did you change Oliver's sheets? Why? I don't know. I was almost convinced, you know? His feet were, like, this far apart, and now they're this far apart. I don't know. I got that feeling that you had. Oh, Mom called last night. You were out of it. She said she might have a place for Oliver. You'd think she wants the Federal Express in. I'll get it! Hello? This is Dr. Castaneda. Is your mother home? No, she should be back tomorrow, a little after one. This is Jeff. Good guess. How's Oliver, Jeff? Is he giving you any trouble? Uh, only when he plays disco. I mean, that stuff is dead. Listen, will you do me a favor? Tell your mother that I called and that I'd like to speak with her, please. Yeah, sure. All right, let me give you the number. 555. Yeah, we've got it posted. I'm, I'm making a note of it right now. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. does that? Since when? I don't know, like we have a ghost of shits or something. Wanna come swimming? You got chores, Jeff. You're whacked. The whole family's in a coma. You're dead meat, Bill. You're dead. Trish says that Kevin says that. Well, you know how that goes. Well, anyway, they said you found a heavy. Trish is off center. Come on, you can share your secrets. I mean it. Kevin's brain cells are on ice. I do not have a significant other. Don't have an insignificant other. <laughs> I knew it was bogus. Thanks a lot. Oh, no, I mean, well, well, maybe if we pulled your hair back or something. Oh my God, you've got a big scar. I'm so sure. Well, can't you feel it? Yeah, right. Every night, just after she checks her breast for leprosy. It's like I'm making it up. Get me a mirror. Mute it. Well, I mean, you must have had it for a long time if you can't remember it. Shut up, Kristen, this is funny. Hey, what's over there? Oh, no, nothing. No neighbors, nothing? Nothing. Something's over there. You know, there is something over there. What? It's something I've hidden, but you can't tell Olivia she'll beat my butt. Come on, I'm the billster here. You can trust me. What is it? Come on.
Who's up there? Kevin? Is that you? Would you stop screwing around, please? I'm not gonna believe this. So, what's the big deal? Oliver, is that you? Come on, I gotta show you this. Gotta go. No births under Raven or Oliver. Maiden name, right? Yes. I checked the county. Try HAP. H-A-P-P. -P. About 19 years back? Yes. Okay. Don't you do it! Don't... <laughs> Yes, there, your move, man. Yeah, I remember, it was wet out. No, I'm still in school, about that time. Who is it? Sure, anytime, bye. That was a freak, the post office wants to know if we got our mail on Thursday. There's a government job for you, calling to see if people got their mail. Knew this was coming. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Don't be a tease. Just an excuse to get soaked, so I'll have to take their clothes off. Oh, yeah? I don't need an excuse. Take that for me. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Bingo. Don't get too many of these. Twins. Check out the date. Coincidence or what? I owe you one. How cute. Young love. Not a dry eye in the house. We've never been able to finish washing one car, not ever. You just gotta keep trying. Hey, Bill, Bill! What? Come here, quick! Not on your life. Bill! This better be good. Turkey, you're such a loser! <laughs> Butthead. Jasper! <laughs> what? <laughs> cut it out, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, cut it out. <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia Denise. Happy birthday to you. Guys, there's a 12 year old in the house, you know. Spank as far as sins, Mr. Slimmy. <laughs> Better yet, just kill him. Oh, hey, relax. Kristen didn't make a cake. I'll cut it. Oh, come on. Go roam and use your hands. <laughs> yeah! Come here, Kristen. <laughs> I assume you can dress yourselves. Guys, in the dining room. Every party has its pooper. Man, but I came undressed for the occasion. All right, I'll leave. Sneezed whole truth. I just heard it. Yeah, right. I'm totally sure. I was in the room. Well, I want to meet this mysterious Oliver. Don't think so. And why not? I mean, how can you, like, disturb someone who's, like, in a coma? Can you sneeze in a coma? He's off limits. He's not. He's in his birthday suit. Naked as a jaybird. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Leave it alone. Last one has to kiss him on the ass. This is too weird. This little piggy went to the market. He's clammy. Trish, why the oxygen tent? The lung was damaged. It doesn't look damaged to me. Listen, you guys, let's leave him alone, OK? No, I want to see if he's cute. No, come on. Kristen, let me. Shit yourself. Where's Oliver? Your eyes were bigger than a possum on a highway. Where's Oliver? 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 Oliver, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ollie, Ollie, oxygen free. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. See the amazing Oliver, a Goliath of a spectacle. Able to lie right here, perfectly still, for not just an hour, not just a day. Put him back! Not just a year, but always. <laughs> I think there's a song in that. I mean it, are you crazy? He can breathe okay, I've been checking. I can't believe you, what's mom gonna say? It was only for a couple of minutes. He can breathe without the tent. I mean, you're just scared of him. What does he look like? Ugly. Big metal plate and scars. Bullshit. Afraid not. Put him back now. Mellow out. Let me look. No. Come. Jeff. OK. Downstairs now. Sure is ugly. But he's a keeper. Wish I could have seen them wet their pants when you sat up. <laughs> Was a Kodak moment. Uh, we're in deep shit. What do you mean, we, Kimosabi? It was your idea. <laughs> Listen, you just lie real low for the rest of the evening. I mean, if you got a shit, you go in the woods. Out of sight is out of mind. It worked for me with my parents when I was your age. Mr. Corkscrew and Mr. Loose Screw. <laughs> the Screw Brothers! So, what'd you do with all the beer? What beer? The beer I bought the day before yesterday, it's gone. Somebody has a major craving. Try the fridge in the garage. I'd uh, <clears throat> find a better hiding place than that if I was you.
Sergeant Bilko reporting, no beer in a garage. Natives are getting restless. All in favor of a beer run, say liquid. Liquid? Maybe some more chips. Keys, keys, my kingdom for keys. Check my pocket. No, thank you. Wait, I found something. Something big. You have enough. I'm on a mission. <laughs> Forget it! Oh, trap between two cars. Don't trash. Uh, no, uh, 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 I'm gonna drive. Oh. Livy. <laughs> it's stuck. There's gonna be a beer run one way or another. He's got his pride. Trish and I can go. Great. But if you're gonna drink, you gotta stay here tonight. No driving. Promise? Promise. Got 20 bucks? Well, I'll have to get what's on sale. Kevin will bitch it's not import, but Bill won't care. He'll drink formaldehyde. I guess. What is it, Livy? I mean, it's your birthday, you're depressing me. I stopped taking my medicine. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get everyone to leave then. No, no, really, it's fine. I, I, I just, it's fine, really. Okay, then snap out of it. I mean, it's your birthday. You're right. Come on in, get something. They live without me. I'm finding some beer. You're on a mission. Haha, <laughs> the last one you were hiding from me. Well, you know, Bill's a jerk. Yeah. What's wrong, Livy? What is it, Livy? Something's not right. I'll say. We gotta get back to the house. Oh no, I'm driving. Service. 
Oh, Kevin. Um, is Livy there? Could I speak with her? Oh, hey, Mrs. Hap. No, she's out on a chip and dip run. Lousy to send the birthday girl out, but she insisted. Kevin, is is everything okay? Yeah. Oh, do you want me to tell her I'll give you a call when she gets in? No, no, I'm at the airport. I'm gonna get a cab and get there tonight. Oh, okay, I'll pass the word. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin? Could you just tell Livy I, I need to talk to her? Okay, and uh, happy birthday to you, too. You were there 20 years ago, weren't you? Yes. Yes, I was. Thanks, Kevin. Bye for now. I'll check the pier. I don't understand what's gotten into you. Something's happened to Bill. I know it. Just check the house and turn on the floodlights. Billy? Billy boy. Yo, Bill. Bill, this isn't funny. Where's everyone? Whoa, I'm scared the piss out of you. It's Livy. The girl's lost her mind. She thinks she saw someone killed at the store and everyone's in trouble. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Kev's here. What could happen? Wild Bill Smallcock. You're totally uncouth, you know that. Come here and lay one on me. You'll protect me? Sure, baby. Kristen and Bill are okay? Yeah, I just saw them. They're outside. I think we should spend the night and keep an eye on Livy. Great idea. You sure they're okay? Trust me.
Uh, Bill would lose his head if it wasn't screwed on. Sister.
Jeez. much further yeah me and my wife uh, we looked at some lots out here I guess it was about a year ago it's okay it's kind of quiet I like it it's got nice big trees yeah well thanks for the ride phone must be out of order or something that's okay oh there's my mom get out get out do it now this is unit 242. I've got a man down. I request backup and roll rescue. I'm at 5636, trails end. Don't you move! He's your twin brother. Mother.
finish the lawn, need anything? No. Think she'll ever be well? I hope so. I think so. Yes. The new orderly from the lower level is here to see you, Doctor. What happened for? Well, then send him in. i